Hey, happy Trinso Festival! For Buddhists, because we have a delightful festival called the Dinzo. The Dinzo festival lasts for three days, from the day before the full moon through to the day after the full moon. The Dinzo festival is known as the Festival of Lights and is the second most popular festival in Myanmar after Dinzen Festival. Which is called Water Festival. Let me tell you a little bit more about this festival. Medomaya, the mother of Bota, died a week after Bota was born, and she was reborn in heaven as a god. Bota ascended to heaven and preached from the Abhidhamma text to God for three months. The full moon of the month was so the Mesajati marked the ascent by the Buddha and the start of the three period of Buddhist land when the monks retreat to their monasteries. During this time, monks dedicate themselves to meditation and study. The full moon in the Dinto marks Buddha's return to earth and signifies the end of Buddhist land. During Buddhist land, marriages are forbidden. Oh no, no. And many people give it meat and alcohol. That's why lovers are so happy at the Ninja festival because they can have a wedding after this time, and they have been waiting for three months, right? But so sad for a single like me. Because we might give money or some present uh, for congratulating the wedding. It's unfair, right? <laughs> I wish my kacha would be given present to single people. Uh, since they would be just alone forever and like without depending on other people. The Dinsa is called the festival of life as the followers of Buddha lit up their houses and temples to mark the return of Buddha. The streets, pagodas, and houses will be decorated with counters and lanterns. Towns and villages across Myanmar will be illuminated in honor of the special event. We Burmese people really appreciate this festival. Even the people who are away from home, like working in another city, uh, were trying to come back to meet with the whole family and to celebrate the festival all together. Uh, no one should be alone at the Dinsa festival, right? And we pay homage to the older people to show our respect and devotion. Additionally, we ask for forgiveness if we have done something wrong in the past. 
After that, they give allowance and even forgive us whatever we committed in the past. It's a lovely culture of the meat. In the early morning of full moon day, we go to the monastery to offer some foods and other stuff like rice, uh, candles, and kind of medicine or uh, flowers and fruits and some snack, especially Burmese traditional snacks to the monks. And then the monk preached to the audience about the history of Buddha and many precious things. After that, the old people like our grandpa, grandma, mom and dad will be staying at the monastery to obey the rules of Buddha such as meditation and fasting. But we tear in. Anyway, we came back from the monastery 